had Cornhusker Nissan bragging is not our style. But that doesn't mean our customers can't. Great customer care before and after the sale. The one and only place to buy a car. Wish all dealerships treated customers like Cornhusker Nissan in Norfolk, Nebraska. Welcome to Post Game with Paul. I'm Paul Hughes. Well, conference tournament time's just around the corner for the area's volleyball team, so the squads are focusing on playing their best volleyball of the season right now. That includes Norfolk High, which played two matches at home this past week, starting with a contest against Kearney on Tuesday. Unfortunately, the Panthers dropped the match in straight sets but had a chance to win that second set before falling 28-26. Norfolk coach Katie Wright Oswald said she thought it was a set her team could get. We just let up at the end. We had kind of talked about we want to make sure that we're on the gas the whole time. We don't want to fall back and hit the brakes. And I think that that was one thing that we did. We started to get a little bit more comfortable. And we, we can't play that way. We still have to play with a sense of urgency to go after the win. That was Katie's three-month-old son, Josiah, giving his mom some comfort after the disappointing loss. On the other side of the net, Kearney coach Jessica Day said she was relieved to be able to pull that second set out. Otherwise, she said it would have been a completely different match. Volleyball is a weird game of momentum like that. And so mm -hmm. um, I was happy that we were able to hang on and, and show a little bit of grit and tenacity there in that second set. And I feel like that really helped and, and carried over into the start of the third set for us. Two nights later, the Panthers fell again, this time in five sets to visiting Lincoln East. It was a match in which all five sets were decided by the minimum two points. That same night across town, Class C top-ranked Norfolk Catholic hosted its arch rival in number two, Battle Creek. It had all the makings of an instant classic, but it wasn't because the Knights had different ideas, winning in straight sets. Battle Creek coach Cody Wentz said Norfolk Catholic took it to his squad, especially in the first two sets. They got big girls in the middle that get a lot of touches, and I think that might have gotten some of our girls' heads a little bit. We were. We were out of rhythm and out of sync a lot of a, a lot of times, and uh, that's a credit to them. Norfolk Catholic middle hitter Mary Fennessy said she and her teammates were focused. Um, I felt like the first set we came out very strong. We really knew what we wanted, but then like the second set, I felt like we could have started faster, but we still finished. And the third set, we we definitely could have started better, a lot better, but we played with our heart, we came back, we wanted to win and we got it. Mary's coach, Michaela Beller, said the key to getting the upper hand was good, crisp passing. I thought we were going to have to really pass well, and I thought our um, primary passers and service team did a really good job at that, and then we could get ourselves going, and our hitters could swing at what hit they wanted to, so it really came down to passing for us and having great floor defense. Norfolk Catholic had to settle for third place over the weekend in the Wisner Pilger October Classic. The Knights fell to unbeaten St. Paul in the semifinals after having to scratch and claw to defeat a very good O'Neill team. And also in that same tournament, Class D number six Neely Oakdale pulled a huge upset by sweeping number four Why Not. Conference tournaments start Thursday as both the East Husker and Goldenrod leagues get underway. Both will crown their champion on Saturday. The Lewis and Clark Conference will start Saturday and end next Tuesday. The Mid-State, Niobrara Valley, and Heartland Athletic Conferences all begin next Monday. The Mid-State and Hack crown their winners on Thursday, while the NVC will do so on Friday. And finally, the Southwest Conference holds its one-day tournament a week from Saturday. That's Post Game with Paul for this week. I'm Paul Hughes.